Wait, so they're actually sharing the meal? The female decapitated the head and gave it to the male and she ate the body? Wait. Oh my gosh, I just I just witnessed something. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, so let's see this. This is something, well, it's it's not really something that's happening, but technically it is. Look at this, look at this, look at this. So we have got a male and female Monocentropus balfouri over here pairing. Guys, hear me out. They are pairing, but but the female has a big dubia roach in her mouth and the male has a small Turkestan roach in his mouth. I'm not sure if you can see but oh my <laughs> what are the odds man? Cause I they they didn't pair. I left the roaches in. I gave the female a big dubia roach yesterday and today look at that. She's actually got the roach like over there and the male is also eating a roach while pairing like what and yes if you guys are asking i did leave the male in with the female because balfouris they do fine together no issues they will not usually they don't eat each other but yeah this is crazy <laughs> like usually if they pair they'll just pair but now we have got a female eating a dubia which has yeah look at that the dubia is even giving birth what the oh my gosh whoa okay this is like <laughs> something i never thought i would actually even witness it was never even something that even crossed my mind that would probably happen like the female is with a roach eating a big one and yes the female is the bigger one and the male is the, the smaller individual over here and he's got the smaller turkistan roach like what and you can see the oh the female the female roach actually dropped the egg sac look at that but yeah guys what on earth is happening i don't <laughs> this is crazy this is insane this is probably like a once in a lifetime opportunity to i mean once in a lifetime experience well not experience not opportunity what what can i just name this once in a life lifetime uh view yeah a once in a lifetime view a female, matured female, eating a roach, a pregnant roach, which just released it, uh, what do you call that, the uthica, which is the egg sac, which is mating with, I mean, not which is, but the female is mating with a matured male who is also eating like a roach. So that is insane. That is absolutely insane and cool at the same time and the best part is right i put the roach in the enclosures yesterday and today they decided to do the deed like eat while mating what what even i don't know but oh my gosh is that cool or what is that just that is sick that is crazy that's just something i i <laughs> first of all yeah, when a male is mature and looking for a female, chances are he yeah, he's more interested in the female and he won't eat. But this guy decided to eat a roach and mate with the female. And this female decided to <laughs> eat the bigger roach and accept the male. Like, what is going on, man? So yeah, guys, kind of a random video, but I came into the room and I noticed this. I was like, okay, that's pretty interesting. Definitely worth it. A video and let's just move up here a very very rare sight my stromatopelma calciatum i rarely ever see her out and look at that she is out from her retreat over there over here so cool very very beautiful girl one of the most dangerous deadly tarantulas out there you don't want to get bit by this i mean not deadly it's probably not going to kill you but it's going to give you some excruciating pain and maybe even get you hospitalized but yeah whatever it is this thing over here is crazy and i'm sorry you can't really see the roach that the male is eating yeah maybe you can see it right now just over there because of the web which is yeah, when I saw them just now, I thought the female was like eating the male, but then I was like, no, that's not something Balfouris usually do. Then I look closer and they're both actually eating a roach, which is freaking insane, man, which is freaking cool as well. Wait a minute, guys. No, the male is not actually eating a Turk. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I look closer and sorry about the flesh, but you see the female roach, right? It doesn't have a head. It's decapitated. And you just look at what the male has in its mouth. It is the head of the 
female roach. Wait, so they're actually sharing the meal? The female decapitated the head and gave it to the male and she ate the body? Wait, I'm so confused right now. That is... Whoa! Oh my gosh, the behavior of these species because they are known to like share food. Like when the female has babies, they can actually like devour that like, like break apart the roach and let the babies feast on it. And now she's actually sharing it with her meat. Like look at that. It is legit just the roach's head. What? 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 That is... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's confirmed. The roach's head. I am so... Wow. I'm so surprised and... That is crazy, man. That is insane. At this point, I'm just thinking, did the female grab the roach, rip off the head, just so that the male can eat it? Yo, if that's the case, that's some brutal stuff right there. Either that or she got the roach and she came to the male and the male ripped off the head. That's even more brutal. What is that even coming out the roach's butt? Oh, I think those are like babies coming out? I don't even know, man. So it's been about half an hour. The female has left the body. As you can see, there's no hit to the body. The male has gone to the back over there. Not sure why, maybe he's done mating. And yes, they were not mating in this video, but I can assure you they were mating, okay? And then now the female is eating the pregnant roach's eggs. My gosh, what kind of fetish, man? 